Though broadly related to leaf blowers, leaf vacuums operate in the opposite direction. While leaf blowers disperse leaves by spewing air, leaf vacuums suck fallen foliage through a tube and into a bag, much like a house vacuum. Leaf vacuums are exceptionally handy for tidying up yards and banishing leaf buildup beneath hedges and flower beds. What's up guys, today you'll take a look at the best leaf vacuums you can buy right now. We'll try to help you find the right one for your needs. To see the most up-to-date prices, you can check out the links in the description below. If you are new here do subscribe and press the bell icon for the latest video. Without wasting any time, let's jump into the video. Number 5. Black Decker 3-in-1 Electric Leaf Blower Why lurch sideways with a loaded bag of leaves when you could carry them in a backpack and walk normally? This Black & Decker 3-in-1 Electric Leaf Blower makes the job less awkward and more comfortable for bigger jobs by balancing the weight across both shoulders. The 12A motor pushes 400 CFM of air up to 250 miles per hour, and the blower unit weighs in at 11.1 pounds. This blower was not the lightest or the most powerful of the test group, but it performed well nonetheless and excelled in user comfort. The backpack feature and flexible debris tube relieved the added weight. As the bag filled, the benefit of a balanced load became even more pronounced. The only drawback was that the positions of the power cord and on-off switch were not as convenient in vacuum, backpack mode. Vacuuming, mulching, and blowing performance for this unit were average compared with the test group. However, those with larger yards or limited endurance may appreciate the improved balance and comfort of working with a backpack-style tool. Number 4. Husqvarna 2-Cycle Gas Handheld Leaf Vacuum For large gardens and heavy leaf accumulation, it's hard to beat the Husqvarna 2-Cycle Gas Leaf Blower vacuum, which draws in air at speeds of up to 170 miles per hour and features an air volume of 425 CFM. Its easy crank engine enables quick starting, and an auto return stop switch automatically resets the vacuum for simpler starting. It also features cruise control for easier handling and less hand fatigue. After fueling up with a 50 to 1 mix of gasoline to two cycle oil, the Husqvarna engine started easily with just two pulls. Powerful air movement at the suction tube easily pulled in piles of leaves, and the tube remained unclogged, even when pulling in wet debris. The mulching knives aggressively shredded twigs as well as leaves without a problem. The only issue we experienced was the slightly awkward feel of the curved tube that feeds the bag with shredded leaves. Though the unit weighs in at 9.6 pounds, a shoulder strap helps support the vacuum to reduce arm fatigue. The Husqvarna also features anti-vibration technology to reduce hand stress. Number 3. Green Works 40 Volt Brushless Cordless Vacuum If a property is too large for a corded leaf vacuum, but mixing fuel for a gas model is too much hassle, check out this battery-powered option from Greenworks. Its 12-ampere lithium-ion battery powers the vacuum to run up to 60 minutes on a single charge at the lowest setting. This cordless model offers good suction and shredding capability. The runtime was longer than many comparable battery-powered vacuums, but still, at about 20 minutes per charge on high speed, in an average size yard with lots of leaves, Users would either need to have a second battery charged and ready to vacuum after blowing, or they will need to stop and recharge at some point in the project. The vacuum draws in air at 6 speed options up to 235 miles per hour, with an impressive airflow volume of 380 CFM, which is suitable for light to moderate leaf accumulation. A metal impeller breaks up leaves for mulching before depositing them in the collection bag. A bigger battery puts the weight at 9.26 pounds, so users will need some strength for longer jobs. Number 2. Sun Joe SBJ605E Leaf Vacuum This vacuum features a 14A plug-in electric motor capable of moving 440 CFM of air up to 250 miles per hour. In small to medium-sized landscapes, this tool can make quick work of up to 16 bushels of dry leaves per shredded bagful. Support wheels at the base of the vacuum tube and a collection bag that mounts on the base of the unit take the bulk of the weight from the user's shoulders. Considering that it has the most powerful electric motor of the test group, at a comparable weight, we expected the Sun Joes to perform significantly better than the rest. Though it held its own in hands-on testing, it did not vanquish the competition, in fact, performance was comparable across the board. What's more, while the suction nozzle wheels and onboard leaf collection bag help to reduce user fatigue for average size users, taller folks may find it difficult to adjust the strap height properly to gain those added benefits. This tool could be the right choice for small to mid-size yards with an average annual leaf drop. At 96 decibels, the noise level is slightly higher than the competition. But the power-to-weight ratio is favorable, particularly for those who can take advantage of the weight-reducing design features. 
Number 1. Works WG50912 Amp Tri-Vac 3 in 1 Electric Leaf Vacuum. The works changes between its three modes with the flip of a switch. There's no need to change the tube or use tools to go from blowing to vacuuming. When it's time to mulch, a metal impeller reduces leaves in a 16 to 1 ratio. The one bushel collection bag includes a shoulder strap to reduce fatigue. For leaf season, this may be one of the best leaf blower designs. It is the only unit we tested that can change from blower to vacuum without completely reconfiguring the tubes, which made it super easy to work with. It also delivered power comparable to models twice the price. It did clog on some coarse debris, but it performed well overall. The model only has two speeds, but it reaches a top speed of 210 miles per hour with a 350 CFM. An ergonomic tube design reduces back strain by putting the tube at a parallel angle to the ground. The angle also helps it reach under and around landscaping elements. If you enjoyed this video please leave a like on this video. If you are new here hit that subscribe button and enable your notification bell icon to get the latest videos of our channel.